What came first, the chicken or the egg? I don't fucking know. Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Rips, aka your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. Oh, we mama, do I have a video for you guys today. This video was highly requested. I was supposed to react to this video like two to three weeks ago and I just never got to it. So here I am, finally get into the video and you guys love watching anime videos. So here we go. I was going to react to memes for I'm Dante. He dropped V100 today, but I saw the time of that video, bro. That shit said 49 minutes. I'm going to have to record that shit and make it into two parts because I'm not reacting to a 49 minute video and, and editing, reading, I'm not doing all that. So I'm gonna cut it up into two pieces when I get to it. I didn't have enough time to record it today because I gotta go to work right after this video. But um, yeah. But anyways, before we get into the video, I, oh wait, I can't even say that. We today we're reacting to the top ten Fate series fights. I've never seen Fate series or whatever it is. So this is completely brand new to me. But apparently the animation in this goddamn shit is fucking godly. So whatever. Before we get into the video, be sure to leave a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. We're on a road to 8,000 subscribers. We're about to hit 900. I think we're at like 890 subscribers right now. So we're about to hit 900, then 1,000. Then you guys need to put on that post notification bell so you guys don't miss any uploads because I upload four videos a week minimum. Um, And guys, make sure you guys comment down below what I should react to next because I need some more shit to react to. Thank you very much. But I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. Let's get into the video. All right, so here we go. We got, let me move my mic over right here. Top 10 Fate series fights. Full screen this shit. Let's go. Volume is good. Let's get it, my boys. Let's see. Alrighty, this shit look clean, bro. Let me turn it down a little bit. Whenever you speak about anime fights, there's going to be at least one fight from any Fate series thrown around. And That's how nice it is. I might get in tune with it, bro. Song movie, the visual quality of Fate fights got to a whole new level. So since the main mm? series is now over, it's time to take a look at 10 of the best fights in the Fate series. Let me okay, see this from shit. Now on, I'll let the noble phantasms do the talking. Rin vs. Sakura. I can just already tell the color on my fuck. If this was my TV, bro, this should go crazy on my TV right now, bro. Just based off the colors. About the battle of servants when you have two sisters trying to kill each other. Well, Sakura is the only one with the killing intention. But Yo, this shit looks clean, bro. Go on with a callous attitude just so she can prove her point. Technically, Heaven's Feel isn't the official root of Rin, but she handled herself well for a side character and even managed to win Shiro's affection. Nah, yo. Whoever recommended that, I forgot your name because it was on my phone. But I can just tell the animation is clean on this shit. The battle wasn't something much longer like many other fights in the series. And it might just be Rin showing she's a badass when she has a knife in her hand. But this was a huge bonding moment for the two sisters. Bonding, nigga. Show the animation, nigga. To detach Shakura from the Angra Manu. Yeah, so technically Rin did most of the job. You about to knife that bitch? I can't even pronounce that name versus everyone. Who is the most cheerful and sexiest overpowered goddess of all sexiest? time? Sexiest? That's Quetzalcoatl. We've got Quetzal a lot Koto. of gods running around in Babylonia, but the one to triumph them all is the one and only Quetzalcoatl. She doesn't challenge only one, but challenges all of them to a one versus all That's fight. That's a badass, bro. With a lot of broken bones and ribs. And can we also take a moment to appreciate the choreography of the fight? It's got aero acrobatics, Yo. combat, fast moving cameras. They throw hands in this show. Two minutes of jam packed action that ends with placing Quetzalcoatl on the best girl list. If you are playing the mobile game, now you know which servant to choose for your I never know they had a game with this shit, bro. Nah, this shit got it. Damn! This is the only thing I don't like. The CGI. In anime, I, do, I just don't like it. That's just my in personal opinion. Says you get these blurry movements with character monologues, but in fate, it shit just looks weird to me. Like the animation is clean, the road, above the but it just into the lake in feels weird glory. to me. Nothing against it, but that's just my opinion, bro. It's not, it's not for me. Basically, what I'm saying. If you like it, you like it. But me, 
It looks clean, but it just looks weird at the same time to me. Of the unique way they combine traditional 2D animation with CGI, and the result looks absolutely amazing. We have seen Lancer in action a lot, so the main focus of this fight is Assassin, and he managed to shine the spotlight all on himself when he. Animation is clean, though. That's what I'm saying. This shit is clean. Fed him to the Holy Grail. What can I say? Sheesh. Died, and you aren't human. My boy, kind of thick. <laughs> Damn. Saber vs. Lancer. Hey. Hey. Number eight, Saber vs. Lancer. Unlike many other fights in this list, this may not be a visual spectacle, but what matters is the strategy. Without even knowing the story, you can tell this is a fight between two legendary heroes. There's I the see that. Of chivalry going around too often. Both opponents are intelligent enough to predict each other's moves, and there's the subtle tension going around, urging you to know what's going on next. Saber. Yo. She fighting with him, my nigga. Really many fights that can triumph this one, but this deserves a spot in my list purely due to the way it steps away from a traditional fight scene and implements more strategy to it. And don't forget, this is just Ufotable flexing their muscles. We always know flexing. what we get when they unleash their full power. Nah, this is wavy, bro. I'm gonna get in tune with this, bro. This is reminding me of Fire Force. The main series and take a look at Fate Apocrypha. In here, you've got servants divided as red and black, all fighting one battle royale to win the Holy Grail. And the like Holy all Grail. Storylines in the end, the ones still standing strong in the game are the ones who are powerful. This means that you get the best of the fights later in the series, and I'm happy to say they didn't disappoint us with the Sieg versus Kana fight. This wasn't something done by Ufotable, but you can tell it matches the animation style of it all. The animators also made sure to combine their own unique style to the Yo. fight to make it more interesting even though Sieg was destined to triumph in this one this shit is fire bro he was my favorite but uh, he had the power of being the main character so his powers had to take a back seat the music for this shit is probably fire too oh my god my nigga is that nigga god or something like my nigga blocking bullets with his fucking forearms, bro. In an anime about servants, we have a fight between humans. In a story about holy grails and magic, we have a lesson on human nature. About the Again, peace Uomochi him. weaved an epic moral drama by combining ancient heroes with modern Ooh, humans. Shit. The climax of the story was between the two main agents of the war. One is an assassin blinded by a false ideal. The other is a crazy priest who finds great satisfaction in the most bizarre things. Oh my... My boy fighting you with one hand, my nigga, like, chick, 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 chick. Is wavy. This fight resembles the Kakashi versus Obito fight, but with guns. There are no conversations, no subtle wordplay, no backstories of any sort. It's just two guys punching the hell out of each other via a complex Niggas magic system hands, from the bro. start of the fight to Kiritsugu's ending bullets. Everything was perfectly choreographed, and to this day, this is still one of the greatest fights. I'm gonna watch this shit, series. bro. I gotta watch this shit now. How much time we got left in this video? About seven minutes. Hey, 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 hey. Sound check is wavy. You can just tell this nigga's OP as fuck, bro. Them white haired motherfuckers, bro, be broken. The man who completed the nine tasks of Hercules with the nine lives blade works, of course. The heavens feel root was what gave Shido the most amount of character development, and with character development also came some overpowered abilities to take down giants single-handedly. Yo. Nah. 
since Ufotable got tons of movie budget, they weren't picky and spending the cash. So in return, we got this one gorgeous fight scene where niggas she don't got niggas got all of the money in that budget, bro. Just like weapon, Demon Slayer, bro. Got defeated for a second time in the Heaven's Field franchise. So sorry, Mr. Hercules. Seems like you didn't land on the healthiest route. Damn. Sheesh. Archer vs. Lancer. The two servants with the most rotten mouths go into a fight, and in return, you get a visual spectacle. Even though people are speaking a lot about other fights, I feel like this one nah, isn't discussed yo. very much in the community. If you judge by the <laughs> name and think this is a fight between a guy with a bow and a guy with a lance, well, you're sorely mistaken. Mistaken, my nigga. So, what's the secret of this fight? Magic, animation, noble phantasms. Boy, there's a whole lot going on here. Nigga Both broke that nigga's shield. Their best attacks. And Ufotable didn't forget to complement all of that with their superb animation. Archer and Lancer gave us one hell of a showdown. And their fight was one of the best anime fights I've ever seen. I wish it would show the full fight, bro. But that might take mad long, actually. The fuck? I can just kick the shit out of you. Saber was a badass back when she was a normal servant, but her alter form takes things a step further and doesn't forget to land nukes with each of her attacks. That was only one major fight scene in the what second the Heaven's fuck? Film movie. So you photoball made sure to land more than half of the budget into this one fight scene. And needless to say, the output was epic, cinematic, and mind blowing. Hey, this shit looks godly. the servant to intimidate the audience in a fight like this would be Berserker. But Saber Alter had this aurora around her that foreshadowed her victory at the end of the fight. Her power levels had also grown in a drastic amount as I mentioned. Instead of the Excalibur, she has the Excalibur Morgan. Or should I say the full chance? Hammer of the Vile King. Overturn the aurora. Swallow the light. Excalibur Morgan. This is why I said y'all can't put people onto anime like this. As their first one, if they, they want to get into anime, bro, because they're going to expect this animation out of every anime after that, bro. Number one. See why it's number one. Oh, yeah, they got the Naruto run. Fake fights can go back up to 15 years, but never in those 15 years have we witnessed something like this. Like most anime fight scenes, the stakes and visuals are what keeps the audience. Oh my ripped. god! But this time, the stakes are amplified and the visuals have Yo. reached a whole new level. Yeah, seriously, you can build an entire country from the budget allocated for these visuals alone. You gotta spend money and make money, my boy. That's how I see it. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a Caesar, bro. Ufotable gave their absolute best for their final fate project, and this fight is the best example of it. There are multiple noble phantasms flying here and there, and each character got a moment to shine during the fight. Bitch, you got a horse? No way. It's rather tragic to see Saber being one of the final villains in this specific fate route. But on the other hand, we got to see Damn, my boy, you gonna spoil it for me like that? And using nah, I'm playing. Their highest potential. I don't know about you, but this is the most visually stunning fight I've ever seen in Shit. any anime so far. And I challenge you to prove me wrong. Nah. So Damn. that was the best fate fight scenes of all time. The Heavens Field trilogy brought tears to our Alright, that's basically it with this visuals. shit, bro. And I'm here lamenting about how the original yeah, that's fate it. series has ended. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I never watched this series at all, so I'm going to start watching it because the fights look fucking amazing. I know what I said about CGI, a lot of y'all don't like that, but that's just me. Y'all live with it. Y'all not hurting me at the end of the day. I'm just saying my opinion. 
But I'm gonna still give it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna still watch it. Like regardless of that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Be sure to put in that post notification bell and comment down below what should I react to next. But your boy Rips is signing out of here, so I'm going to see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. Man down, man down, you could get ran down, ran down I got the bands now, bands now, she let me fuck, she a fan now man If you get now. hit, better stay down, know they be broke, but they stay loud We don't grow up from the same ground, they all the ground for the fame now